among 19 million people who travel to Amsterdam every year, 100% accidentally perform social, legal, and cultural mistakes during their stay in Amsterdam. Now, whether it be on a tram, at a coffee shop, or in the red light district, these mistakes seem to be unavoidable. But it's important to remember or be aware of these protocols in order to guarantee your safe trip in the country. Talking about safe trips, a lot of people underestimate the power of bicycles in Amsterdam. Rule number one, don't walk in cycle paths. Now, you could be rushing to avoid an impending vehicle and easily get run over by a bicycle on the bike lane. Amsterdam is renowned for its bike-friendly infrastructure. So cyclists dominate the city streets and pathways. First time, visitors usually fall prey to this mistake. They don't look out for these bike lanes before crossing the street. Now, always look out for the bike lanes and stay on the pedestrian paths to avoid accidents when crossing the streets. Now, I'm saying this because I noticed cyclists tend to whiz through crosswalks and often ignore red lights. So if you find yourself walking along a shed, use pavement, walk on the left side and let cyclists pass because in Amsterdam, bikes rule the roads, so beware. The second thing you should never do in Amsterdam is to drink alcohol and smoke in public because it is illegal. Now, I realized because Amsterdam is extremely tourist friendly during the weekends and festive periods the police may be more lenient but if you carry open bottles and drink get drunk and cause a scene in public trust that that will be your tickets to a free night stay at the police station it's fine to smoke within the four walls of coffee shops but if you smoke in public most likely you will get a reminder of the rules from a patrolling officer at best at worst you will get fined and no one likes to lose money so beware. Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and if you keep up to date with Amsterdam on social media, then you've probably heard some stuff recently about Amsterdam banning smoking bud outside. If you've been to Amsterdam before, you've probably already seen these signs, but if you haven't been, basically they have these signs everywhere, right, which say don't drink alcohol on like these specific streets. Coffee shops. Now, if you're a traveler, you obviously know that coffee shops around the world are not entirely meant for just coffee. Despite the myths surrounding cannabis in Amsterdam, most locals aren't fond of its presence in the city and so the consumption is limited to registered coffee shops. So rule number three, do not go around thinking coffee shops is a cafe. They sell more than just coffee. Coffee shops in Amsterdam are not coffee shops in the traditional sense. Well, some of them do sell coffee and other beverages, but they are most the main places to experience one of the world's most enduring cannabis cultures. Moving on, rule number four, never get on the public transport without an OV chip card. Remember to purchase an OV chip card if you want to ride Amsterdam's trams, trains, and buses. Now, a lot of tourists are used to paying with cash in Amsterdam. You can only purchase a card from a tram conductor. Now, it's not possible to pay with cash, so make sure you can pay using your debit or credit card. That will quickly bring me to rule number five. Don't take cash or credit cards for granted. See, cash payments are surprisingly uncommon in the Netherlands and many stores and restaurants in Amsterdam have completely phased out physical currency altogether. Now, it's also worth mentioning that small businesses and supermarkets don't often accept major credit cards such as American Express or Visa, but they would allow payments from debit cards such as Maestro. So I think it will be safe then to say that the Dutch are gradually leaning towards a more cashless society. So beware. Rule number six, do not buy drugs from street dealers. Now, buying drugs like cocaine or ecstasy from street dealers in Amsterdam is both illegal and extremely dangerous. In fact, there have been several cases of international drug poisoning in the city over the past few years that mainly targeted tourists. So if I were you, I want to go buying drugs or using them in the streets either. It's dangerous and illegal. Rule number seven, never take pictures in the valley. Now, while it may be tempting to strike a pose while exploring Amsterdam's red light district, it has many bars, sex shops, erotic museums, and over 200 window brothels. Now, seeing and experiencing the valley is often an Amsterdam bucket list for many tourists and many visitors. However, mind that taking pictures of the window brothels or their workers is considered rude and unacceptable. Now, one of the main reasons is privacy. Most workers in the red light district live double lives and don't want their friends, families, and colleagues discovering this through Instagram or social media. Respect the no photo signs, and if you want to be as smart as you might want to know, shop fronts have CCTVs and the area is monitored by police cameras. It's a safe place. But if you are caught recording or capturing photos, the workers themselves may grab your camera or your phone, so be aware, guys. I think there are more and more people coming. And before, I remember, was a lot of Chinese people, most of them, but now they come from every part of the world. Thousands of tourists wander the red light district streets every night, gawking at the women framed in the red lit windows. Some 700 men and women sell sex here non stop. 
the quarter was set up centuries ago as a brothel for sailors. Now it attracts people from all over the world. And that has now become the problem. Every morning after looks like this. Garbage everywhere. The locals are sick of clearing up behind the tourists. One of them is Oscar Bourrier. He's an artist and has lived here for 22 years. But now he's had enough. You have people that have doors here, they have to clean every day because people are p***ing against them. You have people like over there, there's a, a lady, she has a sort of soutane, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, people are pooing in there, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. On the, on the uh, canals, you also have sort of souterrains, yeah. a little bit, you know, that people don't see you. Between the cars, humans are yeah. there. Number eight, prepare for typical European weather. The worst thing you can do is not parking right for the weather. It often rains in Amsterdam, so it's best to park right for your visit. Now, there are chances of rain even in summer. That is between June to September. During certain times of the year, it may even pour for a whole day. Of course, that doesn't stop the cycling. You will often see locals paddling through the rain. Besides packing all the comfortable clothes you can find, it is important to note that waterproof clothing and rainwear are essential for your visit to Amsterdam. One thing you never want to do is to buy and eat any space cake or waffle in Amsterdam. Now, the ninth rule is that these treats hit harder than regular joints. Amsterdam and its cannabis culture may be an exciting new adventure to some, but there are some pitfalls that the inexperienced can fall into. In Amsterdam, if marijuana isn't rude and lit, it's made into space cakes and space waffles. They have cannabis-flavored cookies and lollipops, which are okay, but the cakes and waffles often surprise those who are new to the cannabis culture. They always take a long time before they hit you, and when they do hit, they hit you hard, so beware. Coffee shop regulars who casually smoke usually avoid eating space cakes and waffles altogether due to their strength. So keep safe, and if you will indulge, always buy from trusted coffee shops only, but never on the streets. This guy had too much of space cake in Amsterdam. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Roy Heritage for more travel-related videos. God. Oh, Dude. <sighs> and the last but not the least is to never expect wild parties during weekdays. You will be disappointed. Many people have told me about how they made a transit in Amsterdam and were disappointed because they expected to see the crazy parties in Centrum during their transits. They got there and it was not the scene they expected. See, although Amsterdam has more than its fair share of hangouts, parties and festivals, the city nightlife usually revolves around the weekends and most venues keep things low-key during weekdays. Sure, there are some late night spots in Amsterdam that stay open well into the early mornings throughout the working week but if you want to party and have a good time always look out for the weekends so you don't end up getting disappointed rare heritage yeah, i'm a traveler and explorer currently touring ghana do well to share with me your experiences in amsterdam drop a link subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my escapades across ghana until next time i'll see you in the next one bye <music>